Orange to Grandad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Fuck's sake, they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. <laughs> Witcher, are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, my lady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, my lady. Witcher. Stupid. 
stupid war. It could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm hmm I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a fork tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the king's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupils suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Good to see you. Morning, witcher. Those blades of yours should be useful today. I did what you asked. You killed the cockatrice. Wonderful. Tough job. Routine witcher's work. I'll have your coin as soon as we finish off the lavalettes. I'll be generous, I promise. I'd like it beforehand. Promises made before battle are often hard to keep. Full tests would be assassin. You said you'd ask around. I put the word out. I did. And? It's a riddle wrapped inside a secret. I thought you knew people who could help. I can give you any cutthroat in Temeria. Problem is, your assassin came from elsewhere. You sure? Sure as you stand before me. Does Voltest plan to continue the siege? No. We're to mount an assault. Finally. Truth be told, I'd rather sit here than risk my neck on those walls. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth, and this one here they call Desperate, and this is new boy. He's um, apprenticing with us like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now new boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riot. But those are bygones. As I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress, too. Boholt was just fooling about the raping and all. What rape? Shut your trap, Desbrit. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon. The sorceress, too. The peasants wanted at it. Everyone did. But there was only 
one prize. And we argued. There was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. But that dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. And you done freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven Air she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Uh, Conifer or some such. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy met a knight that he'll survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. You boys brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magically like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing as sorcery and such is not strange to you. Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses, praying at this shrine. Nice, smiling and all. We don't want to take them two on patrol. Ho ho ho, but... Shut it! Boalt had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance, went rummaging in the shrine and found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his, but every now and then he wakes up as good old Bohort. Aye, he still cuts them down with a single wallop. In any case, we took the amulet and went off to find the rest of the patrol. Oh, the wonders we saw. First, ran into some squirrels, vicious ones, arrows flying everywhere, but we came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down, the elves fell to their knees, and we all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. Who knows? Maybe the amulet is unlucky. Maybe it draws trouble. I doubt you left the shrine untouched. Then the square tell. I told you as much. We need to get the boy some plate. Wait a minute. We owe the Witcher some thanks. But we're broke as shit peddlers. Fancy the amulet, Witcher. It might draw trouble, be cursed in some way, but you might lift a curse. Sell it off. I'll take it. It's all yours. Witcher, you available for normal business still? Willing to hunt monsters? Yeah, I'm willing. Why do you ask? Well, because we were out with those scouts that saw the dragon. No one believes us, but... The sound in the assembly. That's us. We'll find you after the battle, Witcher. Wait. Farewell. Greetings. Can I interest you in a worthy cause? We could use your support. What's the cause? Ah, uh, a veterans fund for former fighting men of need. Uh-huh. Found anyone gullible enough to fall for that? There's nothing to fall for. It's just some arm wrestling. Arm wrestling? Yeah, why? You put down some coin and we wrestle. Win and the pot is yours. Lose and, <laughs> well, the coin goes to the fund. Care to test your strength? Greetings. I haven't played dice poker in a while. Ah, oh, it's like walking. You don't forget how to do it unless you're drunk. Roll a few rounds with me. You're the one who crushed Salamandra. Certainly haven't forgotten how to play. Here's your coin. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. 
Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea Your Grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballastae two years ago for her birth. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, Your Grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sader. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Thanks to Geralt of Rivia, my daughter Ada is alive, and is now the wife of Radovid of Redania. I see. I fear you do not, Excellency. The midget king merely awaits my demise. I am certain King Radovid of Redania wishes Your Majesty a long and healthy life. And that wasn't even easy, Excellency. The old families will never accept a Redanian on my throne. Ada will have to contend herself with Redania. I understand. The issue of succession remains unresolved. Your Grace, I request your permission to retire. Black ones in my camp for a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Ada no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits, it's just a question of time. Now, for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, Barry! Cat, Witcher. Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? One and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher!
That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Lord Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, Your Majesty! Follow me, gentlemen! For Temeria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defenders' morale. Yes, Your Grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me! For the glory! Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. Be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette, this will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You've got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron, heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. The famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the north. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and full test will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men in your honor. In a minute you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword. Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, Witcher. This is between us. So be it. Stand back, men! My nanny told me stories about you when I couldn't sleep. I especially liked the one of Renfri and her rogues. As I grew, I dreamed of facing you one day. That dream will not have a happy ending for you. <laughs>
The successor of one of Temeria's oldest families perished at the hands of a monster slayer. A sign of the times, I suppose. You mourn Arian? No. He was one of a dying breed. And he was a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edda. To think it almost killed us all. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle! Open the gate! Arian lives! Open now! Kneel before your king and I shall show you mercy! Looks like we're stuck. Indeed, and my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boats is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. <gasps> Look! the King's Special Forces. What of the Baron? You really had to kill him. sometimes. Sorry. Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, Sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly! Protect the king! Plowing dragon nearly reversed the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. Soldiers loyal to the Lavalettes would never harm the Baroness's children. I shall be reassured as to that when I see them, not before. We must act quickly. The rebels are dispersed, in disarray. As dim-witted as they are, I fear they could conclude the children would make good hostages. Maybe Roach will get something out of this priest. It's a relatively large town, I could use a hint. I'm counting on him. But time is of the essence. 
Please explore the area. We seek a tunnel or something similar. Beware of traps. They may have planted some. You're best suited to this. My men lack your skills. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. God's help us! <laughs> These people are unarmed. This is not your concern. Get lost. You'd better go. The dragon's about to burn down this town lock, stock, and barrel. It's awfully caring of yous, but all right, we'll leave. Plenty more booty lying around. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. Leave them alone. They're innocent. Innocent? They're with the lavalettes! Weeds that need to be ripped out with their roots so they won't grow back again! Treason spreads like the plague. No one will leave here alive. And you, stay out of this. I won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. I was not after your blood! I have witnesses! His Majesty King Faltest of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Busi. Where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tales, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Fotest, before the gods and the people. Busi and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tales, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? The Solar. They're in the Solar. What is this? Blasphemy! Sorcerer's tricks! <laughs> Holy man unharmed and the noble gets slapped. A win-win situation, if ever I've seen one. The dragon's back! I... Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the forefather and the mother creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. 
Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Boosie. One day you'll be king, and kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. Anais, help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, Sire. I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Were she not your lover, who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Well, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Triss participating in the meetings? Indeed. 
only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. Foltest told me a lot about you. If not for him, I'd be a drunk or a vagrant. Foltest did more for me than my father ever did. But then my father did exactly nothing, for I never even met him. In any case, I'll not rest until the murderer is punished. Tell me how you serve, Vernon. I carry out orders others are incapable of executing. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. Streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg died as trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. 
I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out of the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. How long are you going to keep me in here? Can't wait to see the hangman, eh? Don't worry, tomorrow's your big day. I can't wait to see him skinned alive. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Mercy, Witcher. What now? Cover yourself, my lady. In better times, the king spoke to me of you. You must look me in the eyes when you answer. Did you slay Faltest? No. Hmm. I suppose I must believe you. You should be glad. I'd have to gouge out those devil's eyes otherwise. I am glad, my lady. I like my eyes. Where are my children? Forgive me, but I just escaped my cell, and can't count myself among the well-informed. Then you are at my mercy. I know this dungeon better than anyone. Your chances of escaping are nil without my help. Slim with it. I'll gladly take Slim. In that case, let us go. Along the way, you can tell me how my son, Arian Lavalette, died. They never miss. They're the elite of the Nilfgaardian army. Your Excellency, here to oversee the interrogation? I have come to assist the Baroness Lavalette, former mistress of this castle. But I see she has found her champion already. What do you want, Excellency? To aid you, my lady. Or rather, to present a proposal. The Lavalettes have never made and will never make a pact with Nilfgaard. Pantare, Baroness. There are no constants in this world. It is time to adapt to the new order, particularly now that Arian and the King are no more. You and the royal children require protection. Where are they? In the upper castle. They are safe, unhurt thus far. I can guarantee their further safety and yours, provided you can agree to Imperial protection. Stomach, as it were, Nilfgaardians in your presence. Naturally, I expect nothing in return. You contradict yourself, Ambassador. Your ruse is not lost on me. But so be it. Now take me to my children. I hadn't planned on going to the Upper Castle. And rightly so. Many there tremble with anticipation for tomorrow's execution. I must resolve a few administrative matters to deliver the Baroness from this oppression, and I will occupy, for ample time, I think, the guards at the main dungeon gate in the process. 
My lady, I leave you in the hands of this honorable knight. Witcher, count twenty heartbeats and follow me. Why would you aid a Kingslayer, Excellency? I aid a Witcher who may find the real regicide. I'm a principled man who abhors all acts of violence, in addition to which the Empire I represent needs a stable north. But we digress. Twenty heartbeats, then follow. I wouldn't trust him, milady. Do you believe I have a choice, Witcher? By your estimation, how is it I find myself imprisoned now? The old families led by Kimbolt and Maravel wish to reap all they can for themselves. They dream of one of their own donning the crown, and my children are but an impediment. We require protection, and the Nilfgaardian knows this well. It is time. Go, Witcher. Halt! Oh, blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Squiatel? Aye. Kennet mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorva, for some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea, but it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kennet told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. You were to sneak out. Avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss. Is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Gazima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. I ran into a hangman torturing Louisa Lavalette, trying to force her to confess to incestuous relations with her son. Foltest's children were to be Aryans. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. But Schillard has the Baroness and her children. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain!
War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fall test to start with. I barely escaped in Edirn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in a killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf?
Plotson should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That's... Vernon Roach. Special Forces Commander for the last four years. Servant of the Temerian King. Responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills. Hunter of elves. Murderer of women and children. Twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Jorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Lay plans, set traps. And now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One Dwan less. Where's your unit? Dispersed by a raiding party? They're exactly where they should be. I assure you, no humans can surprise the Squirtel. We need him alive. Know any useful spells? Set his attention. I need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! <laughs> You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once, now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tala game. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! <laughs> On what? That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorveth. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emiavar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. 
Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Greetings. Greetings? I see even Flotsam has its ghetto. We're in Temeria, aren't we? Non-humans are to blame for everything. Cattle plague, higher taxes. Let them live, so long as it's far away and not for too long. Are you deaf? Gates closed until further notice. I've had enough. The Commandant will hear of this. Oh, go to hell! When will you open the gates, soldier? After the execution. Cedric will peer out, confirm that it's calm, then we'll open them. Don't ask me how he knows, but he's yet to be wrong, that elf of ours. What's this execution about? Go to the square, see for yourself. In a hurry to see the deliberations? Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what, pray tell, was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Prince Stennis is here? King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Prince Stennis. A poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demaven III, became the 17th King of Edirn. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Good that you're here. We don't have much time. Seems like we never do. First we have to get by the guards. Leave that to me. Be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Might have tried to reason with them. Easier this way. Trust me. Path's clear. Can we go? No time to lose. Everything will be revealed at last. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis. And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you wish you from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up Temeria, or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh uh uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. 
Today, randomly chosen mages and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. <laughs> Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed, as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Mary Gold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Merigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanserville will be condemned to death. Sheila de Townsville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Senthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenner? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. 
Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. List of the lodge's sorceresses. A list of the whores you'll help us find. Are you all right? More or less. And the dragon? Dragoness. Saskia's alive. Wounded and weak from loss of blood, but alive. The spell is still working. Unimportant. As long as Saskia lives, there's hope that we can break it. 
Besides, I don't kill dragons. Philippa won't easily give up such a powerful weapon. Triss, please understand. The last thing I want to do is slaughter one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. Saskia is good incarnate. She's the exact antithesis of Eilhart and your former friends. They should be punished. You're right. I just wanted... I know what you wanted, and you're probably right in some way. But this time, logic and calculation are unimportant. If we have even the slimmest chance of breaking the spell and freeing Saskia, we need to try. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting? Hmm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. What do you mean, waiting? How do you know? Utter chaos broke out after the dragon attacked. I tried to reach Philippa's quarters. A terrified man approached me in one of the alleys, gave me a letter and begged me not to harm him. He said it was for you. The letter was short. I'm waiting in the Temerian camp. Letho. What happened here while I was gone? All the kings had many more armed men than they should have had at a peace summit. During the evacuation, several skirmishes broke out. The Kidwenis clashed with the Temerians. The Order's knights raped two sorceresses and killed those who dared try to help them. Do you think the Council and Conclave will survive? Well, they're established, and that's the only thing that prevented a wholesale massacre. Hard to say if they'll survive. But for the time being, no one's got any better ideas. Mages are part of this world, whether people like it or not. They have to have their rights, their place. Otherwise, another lodge will arise. I think he's coming too. Oh, bollocks. The whore son's in agony. Won't be long now. Look at that. The cleverest of elven bandits, beaten burnt like ordinary scum. This is the handiwork of some mage. I'd wager my wife on it. You shouldn't have taken that trinket. You know they'll ask what he had on him. And you'll not peep a word. Understand? Hey, you. Piss off, we've got a dangerous prisoner here. A prisoner? Did you capture him? None of your concern. Buzz off, freak. Wanna tell me what that was about? It's Yorvith. I owed him that much. I guess I missed quite a bit. Yeah. Can you help him? Uh... I'm sorry, Geralt. This was high magic. Treating him will take time. Maybe months. I'm gonna miss the Kingslayer again. Stay with him, Triss. I'll be back for you when this is over. Geralt... This is between me and him. You don't have to. I do. He knows how I lost my memory. The magic shield came down when the deliberations ended. I'll teleport Yorveth out of here. Far away to Vergen. All right. Take care. This is no place for witches. Though I know you, and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the Royal Soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. That could take a while. Sheila's fled Loch Muin via Megascope. We have time. She cannot hide forever. Sooner or later, she will be ours. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle. The city will be sealed in one hour. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's Megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the Megascope has a flaw. Minute. 
but just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I suppose my throat's a little dry? In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Covered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The North resembles a whorehouse on fire. As your friend Dandelion... Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I'd bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind. Or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. When did you decide to get rid of Yorvith? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. He was so observant, so dangerous. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the Scoia'tael were protecting you. Maybe, but with Yorveth, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran... But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgetting. No, I remember. How did you know Foltest would come to the Monastery Solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. King of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalette sooner or later. 
and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle's under siege? I had to become a monk, but I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arian's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Actually, it was only a loan, because I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do was wait for the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed. To recognize an old friend. How do you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk. But it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers. And we wouldn't have if not for Yarveth Skyatel. Another of Sheila's ideas. With Yarveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. Where'd you get your information about the lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido, the Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. She recovered her memory? Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia, and without her knowing it. There was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. I mean, I can't change how I look. I stayed close to Sheila, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact, that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together, could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demavend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I'd been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. How did a Witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago and witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. 
Besides Seret and Ox, I know of two other witches of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead and lighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a Witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. Mm -hmm. So elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce orcs. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Batia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. 
That's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. What a fight. Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight, and this time I'll kill you. I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Lerito amongst the latter. Lerito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the Four Winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragonslayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds have been gathering over Temeria since Foltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Foltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the fall of the council and conclave of mages, the summit in Loch Muin re-established both bodies. Their founder sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages, but this did not sit well with all of them. 
It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia.